Hi everyone, this is Sunil here. Good morning and good evening to all. Hope you're all doing great. Uh, we're going to be talking about uh, how to enable uh, the user exits, the package PLSQL user exits in the newer version of the code. For example, let's say you uh, you have created a lot of user exits in uh, version 9.0.1, 9.0.1 or 9.5 or 9.6.0 and you are planning to upgrade your server to version 10, right? Or the 9.7 or 10 or 10.1. Right. If you want to do that, now you have two options. Either you have to rewrite the whole thing in Java or uh, what you could do is you could enable the backward compatibility and uh, uh, if you do that, then what will happen is this old BL SQL will still be working in your new thing. But Informatica does not advise you to do that and this is a temporary fix. So try to uh, migrate the things because we don't know when they release version 10.2 they might stop the support for this like backward compatibility and all that. So better to uh, go full place and if you want to do that let's say then what you do is you go ahead and open this guide upgrading from version whichever version you want to upgrade. Uh, you get this document in the Informatica portal and uh, let me search on the user exits right uh, next one. So yeah, this is what I'm talking about. So if you want to do this, if you want to enable PL SQL user exits, right, in the newer version, I'm talking about version 10 here. If you want to do that, you go to this, navigate to this package here, okay. In the following location, it's uh, all the instructions are there, okay. You need to go to this resources database Oracle. You need to go and create this particular package, CMX UE, okay. And you need to go here, CMX server and properties. Let's say this is the property file. Uh, let me show that to you. Okay, you go here and click on the hub server properties. Uh, you go to the, sorry, not here. Here, hub, then the server, then yeah and uh, server resources in resources uh, this is the file right and you go and check this okay so what I'm trying to say is and you need to go and add this particular properties let's say you want to enable the post load user exit so do this or whichever user exit you want to enable you let's say you want to enable all the user exits so go here and just add all these properties okay and once you do that uh, pretty much the thing is done okay so now your uh, uh, you can still use the user exits but don't uh, do it I mean do it uh, only as an emergency but try to migrate it to the uh, future thing right I hope you understood and you can download this particular document from the website. Okay. Okay, guys. Thank you very much. Thanks. Bye.